What's up guys, Bertie Davison back with another video for you. So today's video is going to be all about how to set up a Facebook store in 2019 or a Facebook shop, whatever you want to call it, but a Facebook store in 2019, how do you set one up? How do you create one? Um, this can come in, you know, this can come in handy for if you just want to sell on Facebook, if you want to link out to other websites, if you want to link out to affiliate links, which a lot of you guys ask me about. So how do you set that up? It's actually very easy. So the first thing you're going to need though is to create a page. Now I'm going to use one of the pages that I've already got created, but to create a page, you literally go to this. It's very easy to set up a page. Um, just go through there. I have videos on that if you can't figure that out, but honestly, just go create page and work your way through that. That's easy. You, you'll create a page just like this page here, which is the one I'm going to use. This is a page that I was using to run some ads um, throughout my course. Uh, I think I used it in my face, in my YouTube course or... Yeah, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just a, another page that I built. So let's use this for the example. Um, so all you're going to go to is uh, once you set up your page and call it whatever you want to do and add some pictures, etc. Uh, you're going to go to settings. And then you'll see here, this one's called templates and tabs. So you're gonna click on that. And then it's gonna show you this stuff. You're just gonna come down here and then you're gonna go add a tab. I already added this just before this video cause I was playing around with it. So you're just gonna go add a tab. So add a tab and then you'll scroll down to find shop, which will be in there and you select that. And then it'll say what your link is. And then you go save and it'll be in here just like this. Now we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, this page anyway because I want to show you something there well I might as well tell you now actually so with this this is showing what order they're all in so you can move this around if you want the shop to be up to the towards the top you can have it there if you want it down the bottom you can have it there so I'll show you what I mean when we go back here so what I mean there is if we click see more here see how it's at the bottom there what I meant there is you can move it to the top which could be a good idea so people see that straight away when they come to your page they see shop and they might go and click on that and hopefully buy some some of your products so i would actually move that up there myself but anyway then when you want to set up your store what you're going to do is click on shop and now it's going to prompt you with if my computer loads just x this out so we've got more screen space so to add a shop section to your page, please agree to the terms and condition, blah, blah, blah. Yes, let's go. Um, now here, this is where you want to actually pay attention. So choose how you want people to buy products from your shop. We're going to click on this one. You want to check out another website. Now I'll tell you why you want to do that. You want to be able to um, send people to affiliate links outside of Facebook. So you want to be able to use that and throw people off the website, etc. So we're gonna click that. Um, and then you're gonna choose your dollar value. I'm obviously in Australia, so I'll leave it on Australian dollars, but you might be in the US. It'll just prompt you with whatever your local currency is. We're gonna click that and now it's setting it up for us. Welcome to your shop. Very basic guys. Now, obviously we wanna add a product. So let's just go add product. And what it's going to show you here is like add a video, add, uh, add a photo, add a video. Now, even when you add a video, you can add a photo as a cover frame. Um, and then you're going to put the name of the product, etc. So just for this, uh, let's say, because I'm, I'm just going to be using a fake product here. So let's just go to uh, Google and let's just go... Actually, what did I bring up the other day in that other video? Let's just use this. So we'll just go add a photo. Um, select files, we'll go desktop because I had a video, uh, photo pulled up the other day. Yes, and it was this pug t-shirt. Um, we'll just use this. So just pretend this is my product guys, just for the sake of this video, but it would be whatever product you're selling. So let's say it's a, um, it's a dieting book. You would have a photo of that and have that there. Let's say you're doing, you're going to affiliate market a, well on the dog theme, let's say you're going to affiliate market some dog food. 
okay, you're going to go to Amazon or eBay, you're going to sign up for their affiliate, um, affiliate program like Amazon Associates, then you're going to get your affiliate code, you're going to put up a photo of it, so you're going to get a photo of it, you're going to put the name of it, so let's just go uh, Pug Life T-shirt, that'll do for this. Uh, you're going to set your price, so what a, if you're going to do affiliate marketing, your price would be whatever the price is on the website, so if we like well, let's just do this actually. So if we just go Pug Life t-shirt, it'll probably pull it up for sale somewhere. So here you go. Uh, it's close enough anyway. It's not the exact same one, but let's say it's $22. If I was affiliate marketing that and I found it on um, Amazon, I'll put it as the same price it's going to cost them. And if there's different shipping rates, I'll put it as the highest shipping rate. So they're not surprised when they go there. So yeah, you will put in your price. So let's just say uh, $22. Um, you can put in a description if you want. That's up to you. I'm not going to bother for this. And then here you would have your link to it. So if you're setting up a your own website, like let's say you got a Shopify store and you sell dog t-shirts for this example, then you would just link to your shirt and what it costs and you can write up your description. If you're going to affiliate market, so let's say that I found this t-shirt and it was on Amazon and I really liked it, thought it would sell well because of my audience. And then I got my affiliate code link, I say how much it is, then I would get my affiliate link and I would post that here. So whenever anyone clicks through that link, they're gonna click through your affiliate uh, cookie and then you're gonna get paid that percentage, your affiliate marketing percentage. But otherwise, if it's your own website, you would just send them to your own website, obviously. So let's just say uh, www amazon.com and pretend that that's our, our affiliate link uh, public and then you just go save you just added your first product okay so that is honestly how easy it is guys now this is on our on our um, Facebook page and it's for sale now that that's live people can buy that so then you can obviously boost posts or whatever but um, if we just go back so yeah, you just go back to the home page, as I was saying, sorry, my computer has been very slow there and it's still loading. But uh, yeah, this will show you uh, whatever's on here. And then just like I said before, you're gonna have that shop button up at the top there. So then anyone who's come to this page, uh, they're just checking out, they can click that, go to your shop, and then they can see that you have things for sale. So I hope that helps you guys out. Um, and also, like if they were just on that homepage and scrolling down, eventually it would show your products for sale as well. So yeah, like, like I said, guys, it's pretty easy. All you need is that Facebook page, and then you need to uh, set up, just add that tab to add your shop. It's very easy. And then you would just either, if you're gonna affiliate market, you can do it that way. Or if you're just linking out to your website, you can, uh, just direct link to your website just like that. And you can have heaps of products on here and on your website and be uh, on Instagram as well, doing whatever you wanna do. But yeah, selling lots of products hopefully. So that sums that up. I hope that helps you out. That is how to add a store to your Facebook page in 2019. Please give the video a thumbs up for me. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.